Hi, my name is Dasha Navalnya. Two years ago, on January 17th, 2021, my father, Alexei Navalny, was unlawfully arrested at the border control at the airport, then just as unlawfully prosecuted and imprisoned. He was returning to Moscow from Germany, where he was undergoing treatment following his assassination attempt. On Putin's orders, a group of FSB workers poisoned him with a nerve agent and combat poison Novichok. Despite this, understanding all of the risks, my father still returned to Russia. Авиакомпании Победа я купил билеты домой. Так что в воскресенье, 17 января, я вернусь в Москву рейсом Победы. Встречайте. This is his country. He wants it to be free, peaceful and happy and cannot stand aside or abroad while Putin's destroying it. But prison wasn't the worst thing that awaited my father. Since the arrest, his conditions are constantly deteriorating. In the summer of 2022, he was transferred to a maximum security prison. And there, my father has been kept in a punishment cell for more than three months. This is a small cell of two by three meters, which can only be called a cage for a man of his almost two meters height. The window in the cell doesn't open, the summers get very hot, and winter is incredibly cold. There is nothing but an iron stool screwed to the floor and a prison bunk, which is fastened to the wall in daytime. Of personal items, you can only have a toothbrush, a mug, and one book. Even the mattress must be handled in daily from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. There is no hot water either. It's given out on schedule for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, one cup at a time. Ever since the poisoning, my father's back problems drastically escalated. As you can imagine, the iron stool doesn't make it better. He repeatedly asked for medical help, but the prison doctor visited him once and prescribed him injections of an unknown drug that do not help my dad. No diagnosis, no name for the medicine. They even refused to tell us the name of the doctor, and no other doctors are allowed to see him. The lawyers are also practically not allowed and under various pretexts. On top of that, the colony administration canceled my father's attorney-client privileges altogether, which means all of their legal correspondence is read, documents inspected, and meetings monitored. And at the same time, Alexei Navalny has nine politically motivated cases. In total, he's facing 35 years in prison. How is he supposed to defend himself in court if he's not allowed to see his lawyers? I'm not even going to get into the topic of our family visits or phone calls. They're completely prohibited. The last time I saw him was a year and a half ago on my 20th birthday. You ask me why is he in solitary confinement and punishment cell? I will read you some excerpts from official violations that Alexei Navalny was given out by the colony. Unzip the top button of his prison robe, however, he was specifically given smaller size clothes to his, which meant he physically cannot button it up. Insulted the colony worker by addressing him by his rank and surname instead of his first name and patronymic. Used a swear word in conversation with the cellmate. And there are more ridiculous violations like this. Of course, the real reason why my dad is in a punishment cell are his anti-war statements. <laughs> From the moment the war began, Alexei Navalny has been incredibly vocal about condemning the war. In all of his court speeches, all the letters that he managed to get out, he has said and wrote that the war Putin had unleashed is criminal and must be stopped immediately. Я посижу 12 суток, и сколько еще нужно посидеть для того, чтобы иметь и защитить свое право выступить против этого. И вы своим шизо мне рот не заткнете. And now they're tormenting him and depriving my father of any connection with the world in order to silence him. But my father is not afraid and will never stop fighting. Despite the inhumane conditions in which he's in, despite the terrible back pains and almost complete isolation, he continues to take every opportunity to express his anti-war positions. And he urges everyone to fight the current regime. Alexei Navalny and his organization, the Anti-Corruption Foundation, will do everything possible in their power so that Russia can become a prosperous, democratic and free state that lives in peace with neighbors and not threatens the use of nuclear weapons. Today, we're launching a campaign for the release of Alexei Navalny. My dad is an innocent man and deserves to be free. This applies to all of us, the future of Russia and democracy all over the world. Join us. Be against the war. Free Alexei Navalny.